Gadget Show, sponsored by Dixons.co.uk. Welcome back. Now, have you ever wondered just exactly how we access the World Wide Web? Well, here's a very special guest to tell us how and why broadband is the future of the internet. Sit down! Right! My name is Albert Einstein. I'm here today to talk to you all about broadband. Anybody know what it is? No. Great. We'll take a walk over to the board. Broadband awareness. What is it? Well, I'm going to tell you what broadband awareness is. On this slideshow, I have included videos, other clips, and a bit of information about broadband. And you're all going to learn from it today. I went out before this and done research, filmed people's responses to a few questions. First question I asked was, can you define broadband? Well, people's responses were varied, but let's have a look at the responses anyway. My version of what broadband is, it is a higher speed internet service by my provider, which is BT. Goes 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Fast communication system. The method for getting uh, access to internet through higher speeds in your ASDL cables, but um, not high enough for it. Uh, as far as I know, broadband is just a faster way of sending messages back and forth to the internet, receiving information more clearly and uh, probably at a faster speed. Well, broadband is an opportunity to explore a very wide range of information, keep in contact with other people, and generally it's very, very educational. Um, like speedy access? It's a means of communicating uh, all over the world, that's what I hear. Yeah, broadband's just replaced, I guess, the internet used to be down up on your phone line. Um, and it used to take ages, I think it was 56k was the speed. And then broadband is supposed to be just a lot more information down the same line, at quicker speeds. Okay, so I hope you weren't too worried about people's responses there. As you can all see yourself, a lot of people do not know what broadband is, but I'm going to help give you all facts and figures and let you all know right now what broadband is and what it's all about, okay? Don't worry, okay? We're not going to... Phone! Now! No phones during class! Right. Anyway, first of all, before I give you any facts and figures on broadband, I want to know, does anybody here have any views or opinions or what do you know broadband is? Anyone? Me, me, I know what broadband is. Okay, what is it? It's, uh, it's... Uh, Sorry! Okay, broadband, what is it? Well, I have all the facts right here. And, do you know what? I don't even need it. I want to show you. Okay, so, over here, come with me. We can see a lovely standard little computer that is quickened up dram dramatically by being connected to a broadband connection. The broadband connection was directly into the computer by this white Ethernet cable. It was from the back into the main Ethernet port here. This is a Wi-Fi port. This wireless hub here sends signals throughout this entire room and actually further than this room for say laptops or even other computers to connect wirelessly. This is also connected to a main mother using this white Ethernet cable here, the same as what we have in that computer. But where do white Ethernet cables go for the broadband? Let's take a look. Okay, now, come over here. Behind this quite normal looking little blue door is where all broadband is held. In here, in one of these here lovely good big containers, is the entire of the broadband system for all the computers we've assumed. All the computers, Wi-Fi ports, all get fed into these here drives, and that is where broadband basically comes from. Come over to this little box, you can see all of the white Ethernet cables I've pointed out this whole time. This represents every single computer. Every one of these is another computer somewhere in the building. And some of these here the orange cables or some of the Wi-Fi ports and the yellow cables can also be Wi-Fi ports. Now, there are many other types of broadband. I've just shown a couple here through white Ethernet cables and wireless, which is in this room as we speak. There are many, many others, and through the government scheme, Broadband Awareness, we hope to make all of these different types widely available to different people, whether it be 
in poor communities, in less developed communities, or to those who simply think in their minds they don't know how to use broadband. The broadband awareness scheme is to make people aware of what broadband is and how they can use it. And it's also to make it widely available to all people. Now, for anybody who has not been listening so far to what I've said, you can catch this lecture again. Just find broadband connections in your local library and log on to www.broadbandawareness.gov.uk. There you can watch this lecture and find out how you can use broadband.